All right, so I didn't get a chance to give you guys a tour of the Venetian when I walked in yesterday. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the Venetian Hotel. All right, so this is like the main lobby area. You would actually go over there to check in. This right here, if you guys wanted to come and leave your luggage here while you go, you know, cruise out the rest of the day before check-in, you could leave your luggage here. However, it is a long freaking line, as you can see. Just kinda wanna give you guys a a synopsis on how long this line is. I mean, it is really, really long. And we're still going. Oh yeah, we still going. We still going. I'm gonna show y'all the very back. And yeah, that's how long the line is. And when you guys come in, if you look at the ceiling, it's very uh, creative and very colorful. It honestly, it looks like heaven in a ceiling. As a matter of fact, I think that might be God right there looking down on us right there. Yep, sure is. And as you walk out on the floor, there is a but load of casinos. I mean, there's really no reason why you should come here and not gamble. And if you take a close look at some of the seats, seats are like really nice and comfortable too. So there's really no excuse. Oh, my back hurts, oh, my ass hurts. Nah, these seats are like really comfortable. You are literally surrounded by casinos everywhere. Everywhere you walk, to your right, to your left, you're gonna see a freaking game, a freaking casino. You got a lovely bar right there, just in case if you guys wanna get this drink and then come over here and play games. And there we have the poker room. Poke her room. <laughs> this is another uh, spot we can come here and play, you know, games and stuff like that. I'm not really experienced on games or anything like that. Uh, I would like to think that this is some type of roulette game as shown over there on the screen. Another uh, sports lounge area where you can also come here and sit and gamble and play games. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there, there's really no excuse as to why you can't sit down and gamble a little bit because it's everywhere. Really dangerous because these seats are comfortable as well. You got your own screen. It's blocked off so you can't complain about COVID. And over there, like I said, you have like a thousand inch screen TV over there. And it's going all the way around, all the way around. Whoa. Then we had this place called Black Tap. I came by here yesterday and this place was crowded. They have this burger here. I don't know where it is, but I'm definitely trying this place out before I come back. And if you see behind her, there's definitely some lips right. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty cool. And we have Noodle Asia. Yeah, if you like noodles like I do, Noodle Asia is the place to be. A lot of people here yesterday, this place was very diverse. People was having a good time. People was having drinks. So this is definitely a place if you love noodles that you should definitely come to. This right here seems to be closed, but this is the, I think the Dorsey Cocktail Bar. And if you see there, it's a big cage uh, surrounded by seats, comfortable seats where you can uh, sit there and have a drink and just chill out. Bar itself is like really nice. Uh, it's very, very, very elegant. If you want to bring a party here, if you want to bring some friends here to sit back, chill, have a cup of drink, look at some women, this probably is a place you want to be at as well. Yeah, this place, Yardbird Southern Table and Bar, I didn't even know this place was even down here. And that just goes to show how big this place really is. Sugar Cane, the Sugar Cane Raw Bar? No, Sugar Cane Raw Bar Grill. Okay. I'm not gonna go in, but that seems to be a nice bar as well. Uh, people just sitting back, chilling. And by the way, it is like one o'clock in the afternoon. And this place is just lit. There's a lot of bars down here. If you guys just wanna just come down here and chill, this is definitely the place. Oh, sheesh, I didn't even recognize this right here. This is a wall of flowers. I wonder if it's real. Nah, not real. But this little sculpture right here is definitely pretty cool if you wanna come here and take a picture. Uh, seems pretty nice, I like it. We have a waterfall right here. As you can see, it's surrounded by these nice Venetian sculptures. You got the tigers, lions, whatever you wanna call those. You got a sculpture right here, lady with her tits up. Yeah, oh yeah. And we're gonna walk outside so I can show you guys everything that this hotel really has to offer. And as you can see, there's the Venetian, the outside of the Venetian. And it stretches like way over there somewhere. So if you wanna bring your lady down here and catch a canoe around the Venetian, you can definitely do that too. I read about this uh, in a little article. I may try this before I leave, but it's just too damn hot to be trying this right here. I ain't trying to get no black and white I already am. Damn, is he singing? He is actually singing. Wow, I didn't even know that. That's pretty interesting. All right, so we're about to cross the street. Now I'm gonna take you guys on the other side of the Venetian. It's a whole nother world over there. So I'm gonna take you guys to go see that too. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, Vegas is a different type of heat, man. So I've lived in Texas and I thought Texas was hot. Vegas, y'all need a whooping for this. It is entirely too damn hot out here. 
All right, so now we're on the other side of the Venetian and I'm gonna just show you guys where we were. We're just over there. So let's go see what this side has to offer. So I finally got inside of the Venetian on the other side and this is, uh, looks like some gift shops over here. This looks like a It's Sugar Factory. Let, let's go in here and see how the stuff in here looks. Oh, shoot now. I'm there to have a Sour Patch Beach towel. Never in my life would thought Sour Patch would be like this. Man, Jelly Belly, how you doing, man? You want to wear no clothes today? Hmm? You want to ask me? Okay, cool, fine. Bye bye. All right, so look, this looks like a, a tattoo spot. I've never in my life seen a tattoo spot inside of a hotel. And it looks like pretty, uh, looks like pretty nice, upscale, and elegant. It smells good in there, too. Whew. I don't know what this is. What is this? Green? Hey. How are you? I'm all right. What exactly is this? It's pure oxygen treatment. Oh, okay. You breathe for about 10, 15 minutes and it gives you energy, helps with headaches, jet lag, hangovers. Oh, cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. These are live oxygen machines to give you energy and all that good stuff. So if you're out, you pass out in the Vegas seat, come into Venetian, sit down, have a seat. It gives you some fresh oxygen, okay? Spirits and spice. What? What? I don't even know what this is. Oh, man. It smells good in here. A lot of different, uh, I don't even know what this is. Spices. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Oh, this vodka. Got your tequila right there. Got your vanilla cream, look at there. Whiskeys and brandies on that side. You got gifts over there. This is pretty nice. Looks like a sports store with a whole bunch of sports celebrities and frames. If you like sports, that's probably the place to go. And that place is called Field of Dreams. Now, walking through there. Now, right there, that is an Asian bar that we've been hearing about a lot about as well. Water and pedals? Oh yeah, it definitely is. Oh yeah, for sure. It's definitely water pose. And that is the Tao Asian B Oh no! Oh, that's not a restaurant. A no oh yeah, I'm going here tonight. I'm going here tonight. That's crazy, because somebody told me this was a restaurant. Stupid. But if you guys want to drink all day, every day, Fat Tuesdays is open. We came down here as, as late as 10 o'clock yesterday and they were still open serving drinks. I think it was 10 o'clock. Sorry guys, I was drunk. But anyway, this place is... <laughs> definitely sell some great drinks so uh, definitely make sure you come to Fat Tuesdays if you haven't been to Vegas or if you come here for the first time. All right so now we're gonna go to the fourth floor that's where the uh, pool is I have not been to the pool yet so we'll be seeing this for the first time. Oh what a mercy seat for Thank you, thank you. You're a real one. I want to be in the vlog. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me subscribe to him. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We have YouTube? Yeah, man. Time, time. Where are you guys headed, though? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to the room. We're about to get yeah. some food. We're from right, Seattle. Cool. Get that YouTube, man. We're from? Seattle. 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 Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Let us know. We'll watch you sometime. All right, appreciate it, guys. Hey, how you doing? Thank you guys for having me. Doing just fine. All right, so apparently there's two pools. There's one on the left side, one on the right side. We're going to go to the right side first. And then we're gonna bounce to the left. Hey, thanks for all your service. Appreciate it. Man, thanks a lot for everything. Hey, of course, of course, stay up, stay up. Absolutely. And uh, here is the pool. Wow, I I've never seen nothing like this a day in my life. Everybody's having a good time too, man. Everybody drinking, chilling, clapping, farting, all that good stuff. What's up guys? How y'all doing, how y'all doing? What's up, how y'all doing? What's up my boy? What's going on, what's going on? Hey. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so I come up here to the pool and everybody wants to be in the vlog. So I'm gonna get as much people in the vlog as I can. All right, now ten man, get it done. What's up guys? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you guys doing? Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm feeling good. Hey man, I'm hot though. Hey, tell me about it. Absolutely. <laughs> how you doing? Very well. Man, you relaxing back there? I like that. Absolutely. What's up, ladies? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey. Oh, she don't want to be in the vlog. Hey, she does though. How you doing? All right, so we're gonna bounce to the left side and see what that pool has to offer. Hopefully, there's more people that wants to be in the vlog. How you doing? Thanks, appreciate it. How you ladies doing? Say hey to the vlog. Hey. What's up? Relax, and I like that. Hey. So I'm finally out here on the other side, and uh, everybody, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Good. How are you? I'm just chilling out here vlogging, man. You take care, man. Just having a good time. How you guys doing? Straight digging the sunglasses though. I like those. Love that. All right, so then we got the waterfall over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's pretty cool though. I like that. 
nice little waterfall, nice little waterfall. Woo. All right, so that was the pool. That was a pretty good, you know what I'm saying, pretty good sight. So I'm about to uh, go back to the room, get ready to go to the dispensary and I think the sugar factory. So we finally have Planet 13, which is said to be the dispensary of Marijuana. So you already know what time it is. Time to get huh, 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 huh. <laughs> right here, man, talking about weed smokers, man. I am not a weed smoker, but look at this, man. Isn't that Despacito or Docido? Yo, this shit looks like the real shit, don't it? Man, I don't really know how the real shit looks, but uh, yeah. Big baby bud, great monster. Uh, London pound cake. Yeah, don't mind. To this farmer, Rocky Road, to Pango Canyon. Alright, this right here looks like uh, cocoa nubs and it is on a bed of reefer. This is what I'm gonna try, man. You know, it's kind of like in my price range, you know, brother's bro. Right here is really interesting. So we got fruity pebbles, cookie crisp, and I think this is like cinnamon toast crunch. By far the nastiest cereal ever. I'm pretty sure, uh, with the THC, this probably it? tastes like it? really good. Yo, so they got a they got a whole van right this mug. So you can actually go in here and hot box. So for all the weed, oh my God, that's strong. Shit. For all the weed smokers, man, that you know what I'm saying, that want to come in here and hot box, this is definitely the spot for you. Freaking blunt on top of the freaking van. It got to be amazing. Whoever thought that I'd be in a van smoking a joint. <coughs> Yo, oh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. As much as this, can you guys see me, bro? <coughs> this is real <coughs> strong. Woo! That right there is the front seat of whoever's driving. <coughs> yeah, as you guys can see, I, you know, I'm really not, you know, this weed thing isn't for me, and I'm have weak lungs. <coughs> but this is this this is just unbelievable I, you know i really like this place we have the front desk here at the marijuana dispensary about to get some marijuana and he just said he has a surprise for me oh that was a surprise ladies and gentlemen <laughs> thank you guys appreciate it boss hey man see you later man thanks a lot Let's see what he got up in here man so we got a little you know what i'm saying this right here is called a little sour belt bite what you got Sour belt bite. Sour belt bite. We're gonna both try these sour belt bites and we're gonna get back to you when this fully takes effect, all right? See you later. Finally arrived the sugar factory. Let's see what they got up in here. Drink going. <laughs> like, it's really bubbling, yo. Like, that's pretty cool. It's bubbling. Let's fall, baby. Uh huh. All right, as I just showed you before, that was our watermelon burst. We're gonna get it to try. Okay. It tastes just like a watermelon Starburst. Nice and sweet, very cold. The only thing that I do not like about it is it has a little bit too much ice for me. But it was definitely pretty good. I finally ordered my food, and I got this waffle burger. Now, check this out it's a waffle. It is sausage gravy. It's eggs. That looks like is that bacon, sausage, and hash brown. And there is a piece of burger meat down there. It's gonna be really interesting how this tastes because I've never had a waffle, eggs, bacon, and sausage gravy all in one. So let's check it out. Might be on or something. Dip it in the syrup one time. Mm. Tell you something, I didn't get cheese on this. And this was the most flavorous burger that I've ever had. And it's not even the meat. The meat is seasoned, the bacon is pretty good, but it's a sausage gravy that's really taking it over the edge. I actually got a cramp in my arm as I was biting it, so that's how I know it's good. So I'm gonna rate the waffle burger with eggs, bacon, sausage patty, and hash browns, I'm gonna give it a nine. That watermelon drink with the bubbly and ice type joint, I, I, I'm gonna give it a seven, okay? You guys come to Las Vegas, man. Sugar Factory is the place to be. It's really good food. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know. So it's pretty loud in here. I'm gonna eat this food and wrap it up. I'm gonna see you guys when I get outside. Ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, I had to make an emergency landing back to my hotel room because somebody wanted to pass out. Allow me. 
Would you like to tell everyone what happened as you were sitting in the sugar factory? Actually, I don't remember. You don't remember? Is that you don't remember? Or are you embarrassed? It's fine. It's okay. Both. Both. Okay, gotcha. Slowly backing away. I'll leave you alone. She ain't gonna tell y'all, but she definitely passed out. I called 911 and not it's crazy because 911 never showed up which is cool it's okay you know what i'm saying no shade to the nevada police department nor the nevada emt it's just that you never showed up and it could have been a lot worse than what it was but anyway ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess i'm high now <laughs> all right so ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna... and let me just pause and let just let you guys know right now i'm high as hell okay so ladies and gentlemen with that being said i'm gonna take a break and I'm going to see y'all on Fremont Street, all right?